Hi guys welcome to my channel, today I will get you know about the news of the pop culture world. Marvel Cinematic Universe's latest twist, Loki ascends as the, god of stories. This article discusses the season 2 finale of, Loki, and the implications it has for the Marvel Cinematic Universe, MCU. Warning, the following contains spoilers for Loki season 2, episode 6. In the finale, Loki assumes a new role, reminiscent of his comic book arc as the God of Stories. This shift occurs after he destroys the sacred timeline, invalidating the failsafe set by He Who Remains, and allowing the branches of the timeline to all coexist in a conjoined multiverse. Loki, in the center of this multiverse, binds everything together in a new Yggdrasil-style tree of time. This role mirrors his comic book one, where he becomes the god of stories following the destruction and rebirth of the multiverse, to preserve the tales of those who have lived before. In the MCU, Loki is preserving the branches of time, ensuring that every choice matters. This ties back to his self-proclaimed, glorious purpose, a theme first introduced in the Avengers film and revisited throughout the Loki series. A significant theme in the series has been the pursuit of free will. Loki's choice to take on this new role is seen as his gift to Sylvie, allowing her and everyone else in the multiverse to make their own choices and create infinite possibilities. Loki's selfless act has given the entire multiverse more choice and consequence than ever before. The article ends by speculating whether Loki will ever gain free will himself and whether his relationship with Sylvie, which was left largely unexplored in Season 2, will progress in future seasons. The article concludes by stating that Loki, as the god of stories, will undoubtedly return, possibly to weave the branches of the multiverse into something even better. If you really enjoyed the video then please do like the video and subscribe the channel, press the bell icon for further notification.